Hi friends, I'm Faraz and welcome back to another Excel video. Well, in today's Excel video, we are going to talk about how to do unstacking of data with the classic method. I know when you think about unstacking the data, the Power Query is the best solution. But let us try it with the classic method. And I'll be showing two different methods. So the first one we are going to look at on Excel Online and the second one we'll be seeing it on the Excel Mac. And both the versions are compatible with the Windows desktop version as well. So let's go and build the solution together. To have Excel Online, make sure that you have logged into your Microsoft account. If you don't have that account, you can simply sign in and you can get Excel Online for free. And once you log into office.com, you can just click on Excel Online or you also have an option to open the recent file, which is over here, Unstack Data Query Solution. So the thumb rule, my friend, that whenever you get the data, spend some time, understand the data pattern, understand the sequence, how the, your data has been loaded, and then you start building your solution. So here in this case, we have this data, which is over here, and the output, what we needed, is should be in this format. So we have the SKU number, the item cost, QOH, QSOLD, and age stock. Now, this has been stacked over here, and we need to unstack these values. So let us copy these values and paste it as transpose values over here. Now I need to know the record number for each and every line. And to get that, we are going to call the row function and row minus one. So that is the record number one. And let me fill this down. Command down key is for the Mac users and control down key is for the Windows users. So we have 714 records over here. After understanding the pattern of my data, we need to get the line number for QOH. That is a breakpoint. If you see, all of our records are starting from QOH. Now to get that information, I will simply use the mod function and I will select this value, comma and 3. The reason why 3 because it is appearing after every third interval. So I am going to divide it by the 3. Let's press enter. Now when I'll fill down the information, I'll get the records from 1 to 0 and every time the value 1 is the starting position of QOH. Now having this value, I can easily extract the row number over here. So I will say equals to if my mod value is equal to 1, then return me this value or else false is the blank value. And let us fill down that information. Amazing. So we got 4, 7, 10. Now let's build that sequence number equals to the first value plus 1 and again the second value plus 1. So that will generate me the series now. Now let us pull down. Great. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No worries about this values error because later on we are going to delete these blank rows. Now this is the easiest way to solve this problem, just select equals to index and we will see from D2, go to D715, that's my record, comma, and my row number, this is my row number. Do we have a column number? No, we don't have a column number. Close parentheses, enter, and just we have to make sure that we make this range as an absolute reference by hitting F4. Now let us track this information over here. That's a beauty. And now let us fill down this information. Just double click over here and the information is added. Great. But one important thing before we delete these lines, just make sure that you select the column, copy and paste them as values. Because if we delete that, then the row number will change the position and we will have the wrong records. Now let's go select equals to blank value command down key okay 715 let's go up command shift and up arrow key and control shift up arrow key for the windows users now it has selected the heading as well so i'm just going to say shift one time the down key let us delete these rows great and let's Remove this filter and let's clean this data. 
just by deleting these columns and our data is ready as we need it so that's how we unstack the data now let us look the solution number two we are on the mac version of excel and we will solve this problem with the help of the pivot table but to make the data understand for the pivot table we need to clean some data and we need to organize the data so that the pivot table can understand and it can give us the result but before that let us have a look to our data so this is a value qoh right click filter and selected value that's the easiest way to do the filter so now i have to make sure that the item cost nowhere is blank so let us select the blank yes so we have some blank records over here these i have to manually fill the zero and i'm going to show you the reason why and let us clear the records there are no filters great so let us go to home and go to find and select and go to the shortcut key is command g for the mac user control g for the windows users so i'm going to say control g and go to go to special make sure that i select the blanks so it will just select the blank from my data set now don't touch your mouse anywhere just write equals to and now you can move your mouse and select the SKU number which is above the blank line and now we are going to press command enter for the mac users and control enter for the windows users so now the data is organized for the pivot table now if you see the reason why i have placed a zero if there was no zero it would have taken the record starting from the place where the blank value is so that would have given us the wrong records so the next thing what we are going to do we will convert this data into excel tables so control t yes my table has headers and let's go and give the table a nice name and now we will go to insert and insert the pivot table and this will be in the new sheet so let's look the output data how we need we need the sku description item codes and these values let's go back to the sheet so we need the item code but the item code has been pasted in the values so let us move it to the rows and description and we need this column now this column gives us a count and let us move this to the column category so we get that column of q o h and h and the total will go to the values and the item cost this is really interesting so if i put this item cost to the values it will not read that information in fact it will read but it will sum up the data that is not what we need so let us drag it and put it into the rows now with this kind of a design layout you are not able to understand what is going on now let me switch the design layout i will remove do not show subtotals grand total of report layout in the tableau form and now this data looks something interesting again we can go to the design and is there any blank row we don't need any blank row to be inserted go to the pivot analysis remove the plus and minus button and let's go select home comma great see wherever the values are zero so it has taken care of that so we don't have to worry about it so that's all for today my friends there are many techniques to handle such kind of a data you have to see what is the best solution suits for you so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so make sure that you hit the like button share this video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and the soft copy of this file will be available on my website excelexciting.com make sure that you feel free to download from there signing off for today your friend farah sheik see you soon happy learning